Do you see much Murgul in, um, WoW? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Nor do you see any Naga or Murloc slaves beyond the, uh, like, uh, in Katha. But it's never slaves working for them. It's like gla god the gladiator pits and sacrifice and stuff. Now you're I'll give it a shot. Again, I'm just thinking about the you know how di uh, you know WoW changed between Warcraft 3 and you know WoW. I'll put it on your I'll give it a shot. It's just something of interest me. Finishing this off tonight. That'll be nice. But not sure if that'll happen. Yo, get him drunk. Means they miss a lot more. Actually, prepared to get trashed is another pun, ain't it? It's not what people say when they get really drunk. Got trashed. What lies before This way. Hmm. Those mushrooms do to really like, affect around them and all that. Those look really significant, but there's nothing to them. Our paths converge on the brow. Yo. Get him drunk! Kill this. He is fall. Respawns very quick. Will respawn. Yeah, it's got a nunk of its own. Full heal. No, it's just suddenly like just dramatic. It's just standing up again. It's kind of jarring. I think 
thinking I might need to give you some um, more intelligence. Name your poison. I'll give it a shot. Wait, what's that? That was more. Than, that was uh, an all-round book. Huh. On instinct. He really needs it. He is no uh, rather fragile. Effective shield blocks a spell. And again, you know, random magical runes don't really take part in WoW. So it's, it, again, like I said, it's just interesting to see what kept going and what didn't. Also, of no magical runes when he came in in Frozen Throne, not four. Oh, well, I can't speak to one or two, but it wasn't in the Reign of Chaos. I do plan on doing one and two soon, but there's others I need to get done first. And the shielding's gone. But yeah, there's other stuff I need to get done first. So, uh... I'll be dealing with them eventually. side of this. Okay, here's some human forces. Captain Tornby. Dying of Carthage. What lies before me? Eh, no interest. I'm back on This is where we'll be going soon enough. Let's 
go kill off these revenants. Okay. The only last bit left to explore is the northern parts of this map. Could always go back and kill some more of that na those Naga that, um... Uh, I avoided, but I can't bring myself to. Huh, that's kind of cool. Using the uh, the skin they were wearing on the critter as a disguise while they're floating in the water. I think it's one thing when it's really something else. Probably would be better if it wasn't like a shark's. Is that meant to be a shark skin? That's, I imagine so. And that's kind of cool, him sinking down, though he is sinking down to the dirt. Level 20, Eldric Deathlord. I did not remember his name, I just remembered that he was level goddamn 20. Also, look at... I wish I could change the camera angle. Look at that goddamn helmet. My goddamn. I know, it just reminded me of some vague thing I remember seeing in Warhammer Fantasy. Just something on the, the Warhammer Elves. 40k or... Fancy. Maybe it's just this bit that's making me think of it. What lies before me? Keep getting the uh, keep getting over eager when I try to cast heals, and I keep nearly um, stampeding my own guys. Not really the best of things. All right. Um, here, let me stop for one sec. You know, before I started recording this uh, set, when I stopped for dinner, I had pizza and chips. Um, hummus pizzas, rather nice actually. But um, I was recording. Uh, hold on, sorry, I wasn't recording. I am recording now. You can hear me. You can hear the game, and you can see the game. So I was watching The Mentalist, and they were doing with one episode, uh, veterans and their memory loss it was a part of it. And I'm just like, I can relate to this. I'm not a veteran, but my memory's shot. I got forget I got remember earlier I was trying to wrap up a point. I forgot I had two sentences to say, and I forgot the second sentence after saying the first one. It was so goddamn annoying. But I'm gonna move on, otherwise I'm gonna end up flustered about that damn thing again. It's done it. Board. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Heal. Trying to kill this, but it you annoyingly can't target around it. Okay, there, ba get back. These little mooks are gone. Them and their chain fucking lightning. Okay, random stone mole ogre. Okay. 
Hey, you're reduced to mana. Have to use, hope that's enough of an advantage. I know it feels wrong to be relying on such a tactic, but uh, get it drunk. This is its stats. Christ, 88% damage reduction. I don't like Rexer's ult because it's very scatter shot. It's not really good in most of these circumstances you're actually using Rexar. I suppose it's not bad if you're fighting an enemy base or a huge army, you know? It's taking up a fair bit of space, so you're more likely to hit targets. But here, it'll be worthless. And alt. I uh, know. I suppose situational alts aren't bad. It's just. Most alts aren't situational like that, so it ends up looking rather poor in comparison. And yeah, this Eldritch Death Lord is apparently just chilling out here in the Barrens for no goddamn reason. Ancient pillars here. We seem to do with them. Mm -hmm. This one really seems to give a damn about me having the Serpent Wards up. Maybe if I move to the wood, but for now, no. Send them out with a drink. Shield of the Dead Lord. Magical shield with an emblem of an unfamiliar paladin order on it. Again, another reference to this mysterious paladin or order, but they are completely non canon. I'm assuming so because there's never any further mention of them. Uh, Gonna be honest with you, I forgot that this is what you got off this guy, so I can't speak about any degree of authority, but. You know, these might be the only two references to the Death Lords in the entire Warhammer franchise. War Warhammer. Warcraft franchise. You know, I don't know of any others. So. Um. I can't remember where I was going with that. So it, it's really cool, but as far as I can tell, it's not canon, which is sad. Up the shield. It gulfs the hero on fire, which deals 10 damage uh, per second to nearby enemy land units, which increases the hero's armor by 10, hit points by 150, mana by 100. When Artis took up the sword against his own people in Stratholm, the Dead Lords committed the same heinous acts in many other cities across Lordaeron. Yeah, they're definitely non canon. You. Actually, I'm going to look these up. It'll lose sound for a little bit. It doesn't play when you're on top. W uh, Warcraft Death Wards. Yeah, there's only two of them. They claim that there's another Dead Lord in the campaign. Um, remember back in Magister's Temple, the one just in front of the throne. Okay, there's apparently there's. Um, Oh, apparently it was the Eldritch that ward. 
actually, um, let me just read what the wiki says word for word. There were once part of the Paladin Order of the Knights of the Silver Hand. Oh, okay, this is completely contradicting what we were saying. Oh, okay, the the way I... drop this. Exuma crown with the emblem of an unfamiliar paladin or order on it. Same there, the shield. Okay. I guess they don't don't know. Let me just read this. Uh, actually, I already said knights of silver hand. So I guess they don't ID the they don't recognize the knights of the silver hand logo. It, it's just the phrasing of it implied to me that the Death Lords were their own, was in order of paladins. That's why I was thinking that. Yeah. But anyway, when Artis Manitou took up the sword against his own people, they committed him in his acts. The act of evil must have been so great that the evil transformed them into revenants, and they scattered to different parts of the world, haunting the regions they once walked on human legs. Eldritch Death Lord turned from the light when he slaughtered his own family, believing they were impure, therefore making himself an evil and banished outlaw. I don't know where they're getting, like, the half of that paragraph right there. Because, the, beyond these two quotes, there's nothing, no other details that I know of. Two artifacts related, the... Um, Bokoi Revenants, the backstory of the Death Wards, is somewhat similar to the generic Death Knights, which were created separately from artists and never appeared in any campaign. And the Unforgiven has a similar background as well. Okay, there's a boss in Stratholm called L Y L I A Lia Lia Lia. Um, and she was a champion, presumably of the light, who committed heinous acts against innocents in Stratum in the name of gaining unholy power. Just quoting, just quoting directly from the wiki. So, yeah. So there's no other references to the Death Lords in WoW. There's people with similar backgrounds, but there's not no other reference to them. And even then, half the, you know, like, basically, there's two paragraphs in the De Warcraft 3 Death Wards, these guys. Um, the first paragraph is about the war, second paragraph is about where you find them. Um, and half the first paragraph is conjecture. It's very little story about them. It's actually quite a little frustrating. But, uh, so yeah. I'm glad I didn't pick up the cloak, because I basically have the cloak now, and more. Um, but anyway. So, the Death Lords weren't their own Paladin Order, that's the way I took it initially, unfamiliar Paladin or Order, and they kept calling them, you know, they were once great Paladins, and they're called, the, the, Death Pal the Death Lords were once great Paladins. I thought that was the name of the Paladin Order. <laughs> Awkward. But, um... I'm just gonna turn this fan back on. But, so, they were actually Knights of the Silver Hand, according to the wiki who went evil and somehow became revenants. Alright. Sure. Like, that's cool, but it, I don't know if anyone else in w Warcraft just spontaneously turning, like, I've done evil, I'm suddenly a monster. Literally, a, physically a monster. You know, it's not like in Warhammer, where you butcher enough people, you 
become a, you know, a demon prince of core, you know? Like, um... And I remember... I was listening to Texas Speech Device. They were talking about one guy, he released a blood tide on a section of, you know, space. And he killed so many people, he just, like, ascended immediately to... He just dinged, like, a hundred times, and ascended to, deem, to become a demon prince. Is it demon or daemon? I remember one person saying, pronouncing it daemon. Yeah, Warhammer spell. I know demon. It's demon, but Warhammer insists on spelling it D A E. And I remember one person pronouncing it daemon, and it's always kind of stuck with me. But um, anyway, yeah, it's like it's cool, but it does kind of go. It doesn't really flow flow with the like rest of the setting, but then. Well, I suppose you could say the, to one degree or another, it's the rest of the, the later on bits it's setting up flowing with it. But whatever. But yeah, ultimately, um, the Dead Lords were apparently led to the Silver Hand, who went evil. And while they apparently committed similar atrocities to the Kong of Stratum, across Lordaeron, this is never mentioned in the slightest. It's always the calling of Stratum, and never the calling of, calling of say, Heart Glen. So, uh, yeah. Also, to be honest, what other cities were in fucking order on? If you look at WoW, there is Capital City and Stratum. That's it. And Heart Glen was a fucking fort. You know, it doesn't, it's not really a city. Comes off more of a military fortification than a city, you know? Like a military base. So, you know, fort and whatnot. So, yeah. I'm guessing the Dead Lords just went around calling zombies in Stratum. I mean, capital city. Actually, no, wait. When Arthas was doing the calling, the Death Lords, the, the capital city, had, you know, wasn't zombies yet. I'm getting, you know, Frozen Throne and Reign of Chaos fused. It's kind of a weird discontinuity. But, um... Yeah, so apparently when Artis was calling Stratholm, they were also rampaging around other cities. But it's never mentioned anywhere else, and I don't even know what other cities they were rampaging through. So, yeah. Because, like, all, the only cities I know with an order on are the capital city itself. That's actually its name. Um, the future... The, uh, the future Undercity. And... Stratum itself. So, I'm not really sure what other cities they could have been rampaging through. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like there's a bigger war point I want to make here, but I can't even think of what it is. My mind is just blanking to shit. Kultiris, Navy Commander's Shield. I feel like I want him to boat shield, but I just don't know what I can justify dropping. Mm, yeah, I can justify giving Karen this. What is Karen like without it? He's still very fast. Okay. Uh, over here. So yeah, uh... Ultimately, Death Lords were Knights of the Silver Hand, who went evil. Um, well, Paladins of the Silver Hand, who went evil. Uh, Artis was calling Stratholme. The Death Lords were calling uh, 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 the mysterious other cities in order. 
uh, what cities they were, I have no clue, but that's what they were doing. And the Death Lords weren't a Paladin Order, in the name of some mysterious Paladin Order, they were actually Knights of Silver Hand. Death Lords was just a name put to them, I guess, after they did what they did. Hey. But, uh, so yeah. Again, like I said, I thought the Death Lords was actually the name of them, you know? The uh, Paladin Order, not anything else. I wander alone. Is there a fan for a bit? But, so yeah, uh, they they called other cities, and Death Lords is actually the name of them, not the Paladin Order they're from. And just when they were saying, like I was saying, a mis an unfamiliar paladin or, or a symbol of mysterious, uh, unknown paladin. Or <sighs> What's the phrasing? Uh, and the emblem of an unfamiliar paladin order on it. And showed a dead ord. All that together makes me think that ord was the name of the order, rather than that ord is the name of the person holding it, and they just didn't recognize this over hand insignia. So. So yeah, that was where my flub up was coming from. Um, so yeah, anyway, so there's that mystery solved. It is actually really rather interesting, and I would have liked to see more expansion on what the Death Words did, and the, you know, you know, actually to see some degree of it, you know, the destruction they wreaked, this kind of thing. But Beyond these two bits of items, there's no further expansion on what they did. Um, so, now. Yeah. Again, that's why, I like, uh, that's why I'm going with the idea that they just aren't canon. It's just some bits of throwaway items for this Rexar campaign, and that's it. Hmm. It's kind of sad, but anyway. I'm just ranting and raving. There's only taskmasters here, and no actual workers. Passive damage aura of 10 armor, 150 hit points, 100 mana. <laughs> Respect. Wash them out. I've got the scent. I'm acting on instinct. I've got the scent. On the prowl. I wander alone. Our paths converge. I'm acting on instinct. Our paths converge. On the prowl. I wander alone. There we go. I'm acting on instinct. You know, guys, if you actually reach into these, you can collect gold. Yes. You don't have to leave, you know, run kobolds randomly leaving coins around. Hmm. Random bronze dragons? They certainly seem to have a, had a different plan. For dragons in uh, in here in Warcraft Three than they did in then um, they do in WoW. Uh, like, there's no talking dragons here. They do mention Deathwing, uh, Malfurion does, but that could be like let's have an evil dragon, you know. So, like, all dragons that you see here are, none of them talk, they're just like any hostile creep, you know? So, you know, they're indistinguishable from, you know, cobalt, you know, uh, or just a mindless animal. So, and while we're here in WoW, they are just dragons and dragons like that. Others are talkative, look at Chromie, you know, and shut her up. They certainly do seem to have had a d generally different idea for dragons here in Warcraft 3. 
Again, just to follow the idea of differences between Warcraft 3 and, say, WoW. He says, I wander alone, while, you know, being here with his boy band. God, they can finally they, they can just run out of mana. On the brow, I wander alone. Our paths converge. Noticing more mo yeah, like modern units in WoW don't actually use mana. Or do if they use mana, they use so little they just never run out. If you look at older units. They use mana and they can run out, you know, just fine. On the brow. I like that. Our paths can Glad I waited until now to go and try and actually say hi over here. A lot of moots. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I'm as burly as I am before trying to face him. Another dungeon? Yes, another dungeon. And else over here? Okay, in here. Tomb of the Ancients. Those centuries of dust covered his lair, master of skulls, silver trolls' homes, vending along abandoned corridors and ancient artifacts of power. I've got the scent. Unleash my strength on the brow. So I you're already dealt with. I'll be going to Karn. I just want to get him a bit better, yeah, walking. Oh, actually, no, wait, that's just attack speed. I uh, thought it boosted his move speed as well. Just he's slower compared to everyone else. He's fast, but he's not fast enough. logistics of that. I'm just gonna ignore it and move on. Grab it. Thing. 